Today we will develop intuition of Jacobian, a relation between two coordinate systems. To pull this spring by x distance, the required force is F. The displacement is in this coordinate system and the force is in this coordinate system. If you pull the spring farther, the required force also changes. These two coordinate systems are related by this stiffness K. So K is the Jacobian between displacement and force. So basically the concept of Jacobian is something that can convert one coordinate system to another. Uh, here we have a one dimensional example. That's why the Jacobian is a constant. But if we have a two dimensional space, the Jacobian would be a two dimensional matrix. This is a square of dimension one by one. If we want to stretch it to make the square double, we can multiply this dimension with a stretch matrix to get the dimension in this coordinate system. So this matrix works like the stiffness K in one dimensional case. And this is the Jacobian that transforms or uh, stretches a square and makes the dimensions double. If we make the other diagonal components of the Jacobian non-zero, it will not only make the square double, but it will also have some shearing effect on the shape. Let's now see how we can construct this stretch Jacobian. To find the transformation from zeta eta to xy, we have to find the derivative of x and y with respect to zeta and eta. So the Jacobian is derivative of x with respect of zeta, derivative of x with respect of eta, and also derivative of y with respect to zeta and derivative of y with respect of eta. Let's focus at this derivative, del x by del zeta. Del zeta is change in zeta, which is 1. And del x is the change in x, which is 2. So del x by del zeta is 2 divided by 1, which is 2. That's why we have this first component to be 2. Similarly, for y, this is 2. Now let's see this component, del y by del zeta. When zeta changes, for example, zeta goes from here to here, then x goes from here to here, but in this line, the value of y does not change. So for del zeta, del y is 0. So 0 by del zeta is 0. Similarly, it's 0 for del x by del eta. For clarification, let's see when this component is non-zero. So for this Jacobian that transforms this square into this square, when zeta moves 1, we see that along x, y also changes. As a result, this component is non-zero. Similarly, you can make analogy that this component is also non-zero. So that's how the non-zero components makes the sharing effect. The determinant of this Jacobian is 4. Determinant of Jacobians are also called the area element. And this is justified that uh, by using this uh, stretch Jacobian, we actually increase the area from 1 by 1, which is 1, to 2 by 2, which is 4. So this determinant 4 actually is an indication that the area of this element has been increased by 4 times. So this Jacobian can help us to transform from eta zeta to xy coordinate. If we want to go back from xy to eta zeta coordinate, we have to take the opposite um, derivative. So in this case, it was del x by del zeta, but here we have to do del zeta by del x and so forth. The beauty of Jacobian is if you know Jacobian for this, for example, the transformation from zeta eta to xy, you don't have to really do the other derivatives. You can just take these values of uh, the first Jacobian and transpose it and later do a 
inverse and you get the Jacobian which is necessary to get the transformation from xy to zeta eta. So only one of these um, derivatives are enough. This property is very useful because sometimes at different elements you want to convert the xy coordinate into some local zeta eta coordinate of finite elements and determine the Gauss integration. So this transformation is done using this uh, forward Jacobian and once your integration is performed you want to come back from zeta eta coordinate to xy coordinate but to do that you don't have to do or develop the Jacobian again you can just use the previous Jacobian that you used and do the transform and then inverse to get back to xy coordinate